arms, your name will come to me. The first time that I held you for the thoughts that came to mind. What's that sound? You again, what are you doing here? You saw an alarm was tripped indicating a disturbance. I came to check it out. Uh, it's not necessary, you can go. Okay, the security guard at the gate said something about a young woman trespassing, stalker. Look, this is a private matter. We don't want the police involved. I can't let Louis find me. How do I get out of here? Just doing my job. As I said, this is private. Now get off my property now. The stalkers can be dangerous. Can you describe her? No. You didn't get a look at the woman? Look, I'm not going to answer any of your questions, so just go. Suit yourself. I'd rather be anywhere else but here. she go? I've covered every inch of these grounds. I should have found her. If she got away, she's gonna start stalking me again. Will I ever be rid of this girl? Gwen? Ethan, what are you doing out here with that flashlight? That girl was here, the stalker. She was here? I had her, Gwen. I had her. I brought her in the house, but when I was calling the police, she ran out. The gates were closed. I, I was looking for her, but I think she got away. Oh, my poor darling. Listen, I've been thinking. You need some time off. Go away somewhere and relax. We can go together. Maybe my family's place in St. Bart's. Gwen, I can't do that. I've only been at the firm a few months. Father won't let me take off. Oh, I'm sure he'd understand. I'll talk to him. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Look, Gwen, I understand why you're doing this, and I appreciate it. But I'm not going to let some troubled young girl drive me out of my own house. And I'm not going to leave town with my aunt's in jail. Hmm. I was Sheridan. Oh, she's mad as hell, but she'll survive the night. Mad as hell with Jean-Luc or with Lopez Fitzgerald? Both, I think. She was wounded by Jean-Luc's betrayal, and she's definitely soured on love. But she's strong. She'll bounce back. She'll find the right man. Someone who loves her the way you love me. I do love you, Gwen. Mm. Well, if I can't tempt you to leave town, can I at least tempt you to go back to the house? More specifically, up to your room where it's warm and dry and there are candles and champagne? I don't know. Will my stalker be there? Mm, I'll help you forget about the stalker. I will even remind you of how much I love you. So somebody's stalking Ethan Crane. <laughs> Good. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. What girl in her right mind would want to stalk him? She'd have to be nuts. Obsessed with the guy for some reason. Are you saying I shouldn't have dreams? No. But don't dream the impossible. I mean, dreaming that you're going to live like a crane, that's impossible. Just give it up before you get hurt. Oh no, it could be Teresa. At first she just dumped the paint all over him. Then there was the accident that got her fired from the cannery. And Ethan was there. Is it possible that she was at the Crane Mansion tonight? No, she swore that she had given up on Ethan Crane. 
but she's worn them off before. God save her if she was there. I have to find her. I have to talk to her. Honey, just say bye bye and let go. Oh, Jimmy can't watch a drum. Jimmy's out of here. What's the matter with you? Help me, this is the world, tell them. Jimmy has to go. We're not going anywhere until our sweet little charity falls into the water and swims with the sharks. Thinking of helping that girl, were you? Timmy can't take it anymore. She's breaking Timmy's heart. You're a doll. You don't have a heart. But she never did anything to Timmy. If you even lift a finger to help that girl, you'll be the shark's dessert. Help! Someone, please help me! Hold on, I'm coming. Help me! Someone! Take my hand. You can do it. Please, take it. Come on, you can do it. I'm falling. I've got you. Hang on. Don't let go. Are you all right? I think so. You saved my life. It's you. It's you. <laughs> I thought I'd never see you again. Me too. What happened to you? How come you were out here in the dark? Oh, uh, well, I heard a girl crying and I came to see if I could help. I guess I didn't see the hole in the pier because of the fog. I don't hear her anymore. I guess her grandmother found her. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm all right now. I can't believe it was you that saved me. I can't believe it either. It was fate that brought us together. It has to be. Oh, a thousand curses on that damn boy. This is the worst thing that could have happened. To make you think of worse things. Oh, shut up and let me think. This is just the beginning of trouble. We can't let this go on. It's disaster. We've got to do something. What are you going to do now, princess? Don't fight me, Shana. Jean-Luc, let me go! No, I need you for your money and your family. No, I don't uh -oh. love you! To fight. Ah! One can save you now. You saved my life. Thank you. Do I know him? Have we ever met? Oh, she's not in her room. Now, if I find out that she was at the cranes tonight. Teresa, are you in there? Teresa, I need to talk to you. Come on, Teresa. Oh, unless you're still prowling around the Crane estate. <sighs> Teresa, if you're the girl who Ethan Crane says has been stalking him, I want to know. I'm going back there. Luis, what's wrong? What are you so upset about? What's going on? Did I do something wrong? Where were you tonight? I, uh, I was out job hunting and then I came home. Did you break into the Crane Estate? <laughs> break into the Crane Estate? No. What makes you think I did? Forget it. I just had this really frustrating day. I, 
That's this crazy idea that you might have been stalking Ethan Crane. <laughs> Ethan Crane, no. I have no intention of going anywhere near that man. <sighs> Good. Oh, I love you, sis. <sighs> Good night. Good night, ladies. <laughs> Another night of this. I definitely can't go back to the Crane Mansion. I'll call Mrs. Crane and, and tell her I can't take that job as her personal secretary. Oh, it'll kill me to do it. That job was so perfect for me. But I have to do it. This must be what heaven's like. There's something about her. Could she be the one? Could she be the girl for me? Did you really think it was fate that brought us together? I'm sure of it. So our young hero came along and spoiled everything. We almost won, Timmy. We came so close to winning, crushing good having it all but the young knight in shining armor had to come along and poke his nose where it doesn't belong he'll be sorry to me we'll make him pay we'll find a way i was afraid i'd never see you again before tonight i was hoping i'd see you too you were yeah That's my mom. Your name's Charity? <laughs> Charity. What a beautiful name. Charity? Are you out here? Father Lonigan, it's Grace. Did you find her? No, I didn't, Father. Why did you want me to go after her? <sighs> I'm not sure. Something about her. She talked of evil here in Harmony. Evil? Yes. Something strange is happening here. I'm not sure what it is. Charity! Please, answer me! That voice. It sounds so familiar. I wonder if I know her. That's the woman. For some reason, I feel you should find her. The woman is right. There is evil here. Mother is here. Faith, what's the problem? You said she was powerless without charity. You don't get it, do you? Her twin sister Grace is here. If she finds Faith, all is lost. We have to get to her before they meet. Let Timmy get this straight. We have to make sure Grace and Faith don't meet. And we have to take care of charity? Yes, that's the most important thing. We have to get that brat alone and get rid of her before the twin sisters meet. <laughs> 